Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm doing the second half of my Watt Solds, which will be for last weekend, Friday through Sunday, January 26th through the 28th. And y'all, my sales are staying consistent. And usually, historically, February starts really dwindling down. But I'm hoping, hoping, hoping with all of this added listings that I'm doing because I'm really focusing on my profit piles in my basement. I have complete shelves, not shelves, but levels of a shelf that I have actually cleared all the way out. I'm forcing myself, I'm donating a whole lot because it's just, for one reason or another, I've decided I'm not going to list these items. And I'm just going to, well, what we do, my donate is I take bags up to the top of the road with a free sign on them. And within one hour, they're picked up by somebody. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping it's somebody who's going to try to resell it themselves, use it, um, take it to the flea market, something. But it's been a lot. It's a lot. And I'm, I'm just very happy with the progress so far. But this back corner here behind me, behind this shelf, it is just totes and totes and totes of smalls that as soon as I can get through what I'm currently working on, that's that's where I'm going next. Get the smalls listed because they're they're starting to move and you know, I know there's money to be made. It was just easier just to dump stuff into totes and process the plush, which I love the most, and it caught up with me. It has caught up with me. Let's get to this. eBay was a grand slam for this weekend. Not so much the other platforms. Um, I had one sell on Mercari and one sell on Poshmark to share with you guys. So first one is Mercari. I sold a Carter's Lovey for $9. And then... These cut from the cloth women's jeans sold on Poshmark for $25. Now eBay. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So when I say something sold for $8.96, I do charge additional for shipping. As far as my how I do it, anything that's under a pound, I do flat rate shipping. Um, I do... $4.95 for 8 ounces or less, $5.95 for 12 ounce, you know, the that next range. And then for up to the 16 ounces, I charge $6.95. And then for everything over a pound, I do flat rate shipping for most of my clothing items um, that I know will fit in a flat rate padded envelope. I just list mine as priority and then depending on... You know, sometimes priority is a whole lot less than um, the flat rate envelopes. So I just kind of choose once the item has sold. Everything else is calculated. And I do have it set up that my buyers get my seller discount as far as shipping. So they are paying exactly what I pay for shipping. And it's working for me. And lots of comments um from others who have converted over to that, um, they're seeing a remarkable difference in the number of items that they're selling for the, you know, the calculated. So I'm happy with it and I just plan on sticking with it. But I know I have comments in my videos that, you know, there others are saying they want to make the two to seven dollars or whatever the profit is so that it covers their expenses. But I do make a little bit on my under one pound. So it's it's not that I'm not making any profit on my shipping. It's just I've chosen not for the larger items and I'm selling a lot of my older inventory that has sat because the shipping was just too much. All right, so on eBay. First thing was this Fisher Price Friendship Ponies crib. Used Google Lens. I wasn't quite sure what it went to. I don't, I'm not very familiar with that series either, but it was from 2003 and it sold for $8.96. Commonwealth Dalmatian Dog 
when I'm sourcing, I pick up a lot of dogs and cats plush. I do very well with them. A lot of them are bread and butter. And for me, bread and butter is $8 to $12. This Dalmatian dog sold for $12.10. Fine Toys was the brand. It was a large 20-inch white bear. Took a very long time to sell, and it sold for $15. This was sitting, waiting for me to clean it, so I did a general cleanup on it because it is battery-operated, but I did list, um, put in the listing that it did need more cleaning. I had, um, thought I had a video showing it works. Y'all, sometimes I put videos in for everything new that I'm listing that, um, that I, that I know works, but sometimes eBay doesn't accept it. And once I've listed it, I don't go back and look to see if my videos were accepted, but sometimes it's like, somehow I think it's copyright or something and it doesn't go through, but I'm glad that it did go ahead and sell even without the video. Sold very quickly, probably with, within a few days of listing it. For $22.45, it is a Fisher, no, Spin Master Yo Gabba Gabba plush. All right, sold four Fisher Price Little People um, vehicles, um, two of the garage. Looks like one is a, like a go-kart and the other one, they were all from the Chunky series, 1990s, and the four vehicles sold for $13. Inesco, I love that brand. Um, a lot of the plush are like precious moments and stuff. This little teddy bear dressed up as a reindeer sold for $8.06. These are two of my older listings, but I'm thrilled that they have finally sold. It was a Boyd's Bear Sebastian Bear plush. And then this Gwen plush, I'm pretty sure it's probably been listed years. I couldn't understand why it didn't sell because it was so cute. She had on a little like suede dress and boots. Just adorable, but finally sold, yay, $14.84 for the two of them. I'm going to be very very particular with Boyd's bears from this point forward. They are very slow moving, except for those little ones, those little ones with the, the hoodies and sweatshirts on. Keel Bear Plush, pretty sure this was a Ben's pickup. I like that brand. I do not find it very often. Um, a lot of times they do have like England theme to them. This was a London Guard and a Scottish bagpipes plush. I chose to put them together and they sold for $22.45. Thai Pillow Pals. I talk about Thai a lot. Um, funny thing is, y'all, I sold a beanie this weekend. A beanie. I have a few listed, um, but the ones that I really like to buy are the plushies, the babies, um, they've got a rattle inside of them and the pillow pals. Most of them are bread and butter. Like this one, it was a pink pig from 1994 and it sold for $12.11 and did not have its little paper ear tag. I picked up, I want to say half dozen copper things at one of my favorite little estate sales. During the summer, paid a couple of bucks each for them, and they have pretty much sat until now. And I think in a recent video, I showed one of the copper things that sold. During the fourth quarter, I actually sold the canister set, which that one was excellent. Um, now I've sold one of these gelatin type molds for $10, and then I've actually sold something else I'll show you in a minute. But I wanna say I paid two or three dollars for them, this was a recent show in a haul video. It's The brand is Silly Puppets. Um, this was a little girl with the black hair and she sold very quickly for $17.50. She was missing her shoes. She has socks on, but no shoes. This was a Robert pickup. We went to a yard sale and I'm just kind of making little piles of the things that I want. And the next thing I know, Robert's made a deal to buy all the plush in 
several mini totes and we ended up putting most of them on whatnot um, but he did pick these up also and it ended up missing like one key figure which I think hurt overall the value but we did we had sat there and counted but we didn't realize one of the paratroopers was missing and it sold for ten dollars all right webkins I tend to put them in lots like this was dogs and cats and it sold for $12. None of these had their codes. If they had their codes, then you really need to pay attention to the comps to see, you know, it might be worthwhile to list them individually. Walmart selling lots of rabbits right now, y'all. If you've got rabbits, get them listed. It's, you know, people are starting to think of their Easter baskets. This peach Walmart rabbit sold for $12.07. FAO Schwartz bought a bunch of them. Most of them are bread and butter. You know, they just don't get the love like some of the other brands, but they're such really, really nice quality. This one sold for $8.96. Kelly Toy, another rabbit, sold for $10.49. Duplos. I had a huge tote. I still have another tote. Of them I had several totes um, so what I did was I decided to go ahead and fill a large priority box with as many as I could fit in there and then just dumped them out in the cube and took pictures and they sold probably within a day of listing um, for $31.45 there were no mini, uh, mini figures in there and very few of the specialties it was just blocks but words of wisdom on Duplos, you need to check them. You don't want to mix other brands in there. Um, I, I'm really good, as long as I have my glasses on, I can pick them up and I can instantly see the, the emblem inside the little holes. And I just, it takes a while. Y'all, I spent probably a little over an hour the other day doing a small tote of the small Legos for the exact same reason was... If somebody's buying Legos, they don't want to brand, um, pay for the off-brands. Um, so make sure you get the Tyco ones out and the Mega Blocks out. Um, so just words of wisdom. Baby blankets. I haven't picked them up in a while, so a lot of these are probably at least two years old. Um, this was a fleece Winnie the Pooh blanket, and it sold for $12. Sensi, this sat in my profit piles forever because it was dirty and I just decided I plugged it in one day, let the wax build up that was in it. It wasn't a lot in it, warm up, and then I just took wet paper towels and then some rubbing alcohol and cleaned it up and it sold within a month. Um, this was a well wax warmer and it sold for $17.50. Dim Daco, which is Nat and Jules also. This is from 2020. Little cute cat sold for $8.06. I think this was a Ben's pickup. Very cute. I pick up most plush that are clowns, even if they're like teddy bears with like a clown collar or anything like that. Clowns just really do well in plush. And then, of course, there are some of like the Edens and stuff that sell for big bucks. But this was just, it had a hard final head, and it was actually reversible. The head twisted around. It sold for $30. If you see down here, the bottom picture on the screen, that was the sad face. So happy and sad. Um, but $30 for a clown doll. This is another brand, I mean, another Lego brand that I don't find very often anymore. They are called Duplo Primo Blocks. They are very much larger even than the Duplos. This was a lot of 38. Um, I can't remember where I picked it up. Not sure if it was a Ben's thing or like a kid's consignment sale. Um, but anytime you see these, definitely um, check out the comps for them in lots. And especially if you've got some of the figures in vehicles, they tend to do really well. This was just blocks and it sold for $25.16. 
All right, here's another multi um, toy order. This person bought Sugarloaf, which isn't a brand I pick up very often, but a lot of times it's just the cuteness factor or it's a dog, it's a rabbit, it's something like that. This one had the cute little cloth yellow body um, and then a Dakin, Dakin small bear and the two bear, the two plush sold for $25.56. All right, here's the other copper thing that I picked up. It was a recipe box, but y'all, it was rough condition. You know, lots of wear and discoloration, leaving all cleaning to buyer. That's what I put in there. And it sold for $16.16. .16. All right, I think, y'all, this is another one of those items. It was listed a while, but I think because I have changed my shipping down, it's heavy. And it's, it's not a popular series, so it took a while to sell, but thankfully it finally sold because the shipping was more reasonable. But it's Treasure X Octopus and a little figure, $8.02. Not something I'm going to pick up anymore. Barrington Baby, Lovey. I pick up most Loveys as long as they're in decent condition. Um, this one sold for $13.45. Team Bears, Green Bay Packers Bear that was still sealed in its original packaging, sold very quickly for $13.45. Pretty sure that was a Ben's pickup. Didn't realize this was Ikea. That is the wonders of Google Lens. Um, found out it was Ikea, a little striped cat rattle plush, and it sold very quickly for $8.06. But y'all, it's only four inches tall more stuff I've been pulling out of the profit piles and they're selling look nine dollars and 86 cents for two little Cinderella mouse figures loving it all right best made toys another brand I really like good quality and this little brown dog sold for twelve dollars and seven cents Bob Mackie picked up a bunch of Bob Mackie at a yard sale I want to say all of them were like a dollar a piece. I thought they were higher end. I think they at one time were, but now they're just okay. They're okay. Will I pick them up again? Probably not. Um, I guess I'm saying that a lot in this one, but they sold. They sold. This little red blouse sold for $16.89. This Pyrex Percolators. I think I had some in the last video. I've got two more pieces for this video. This is the bottom of the glass basket, and this piece sold for $8. This is a large item. Took a while to sell. It was pre-boxed, so I highly encourage you, if your item is large, pre-box it so that you have the exact dimensions and the exact weight. I do it for everything I have. I have a corner and several shelves that are just my pre-packed stuff. Um, finally sold though, it is a Mark's plastic red train engine whistle. It's like 20 inches long and when you squeeze it, it sounded like a train. Sold for $16.12. Nylon plush, kind of like the Puffalums, but not Puffalums unless they're Fisher Price. Um, but this one was from MTY International. Is that that stuff like my Puffalums over there? Um, but it was a green elephant, had a little bit of discoloration. Um, wasn't listed very long, probably a couple of months. Sold for twenty six dollars and ninety five cents. More of this Churchill Willa Rosa dishes. I want to say I paid, now I'm forgetting, either $25 or $45 for two huge boxes full of tons of stuff. And I've been showing you as, you know, several of the things that have sold already. These were two dinner plates and I accepted an offer of $16 total. Thai classic. Again, I still pick up some of the classic stuff, especially if I just think they're cute. And this was a Cameo cat, and it sold for $10.
women's denim shirt jacket by Hot Kiss. Took a while to sell, $11.99. Snoopy, I sell a lot of Snoopy. I pick up most that I um, find. Um, this is a little six inch bean plush, sold for $13.45. Here's the other Pyrex percolator. This is a lid for a six cup coffee pot and it sold for $12.10. Robert picked up, I wanna say three or four cookbooks at a yard sale, no, at our favorite little estate sale. I wanna say he paid a dollar or two each and this is the last one and it sold for $13.45. It is Better Homes and Garden, 1996. Build a bear, Great Wolf Lodge, bear, bear, wolf with a cheer outfit. Picked up at the bins, sold for $15.25. Now this is one of those items that I picked it up because vintage, I love vintage, and it had a rubber beak. Um, but I never could de um, determine who the manufacturer was. So a lot of times I list this stuff high and see what happens. I received a $20 offer. I kind of went back into comps to see what other non-name brand plush were selling for. Um, and I just decided it was a very reasonable offer. So I took the $20. Amethyst women's jeans sold very quickly. I, I had just listed them for $10.27. Y'all, I will take $10 jeans, sell $10 jeans all the time. They're easy to picture, easy to pack, easy to ship. And we usually get them either at the bins or, you know, $2 or less um, for them at yard sales and thrift stores. Prestige Pot Belly Bear. There's another Pot Belly plush that I talk about a lot. It's decor. Actually, when I picked this up, I thought it was decor, but it was prestige. Looks just very, very similar, but it's the smaller 8 inch plush and it sold for $14. Loving Family. I pick up most dollhouse items, Fisher Price Little Tykes, um, primarily. Not, not like Barbie. I'm not. I don't know Barbie well enough, so I don't pick up that type of stuff. But if I know it's Fisher Price or Little Tykes, I will, or Play School. I'll never find Play School. Play School is excellent to find. Um, but this is a 2014 little boy figure, and he sold for $11.66. These next two were one buyer. Um, a lot of times when they buy items separately, I do send a refund on the difference of shipping if they're if it's you know more than two bucks almost always but this person bought wild republic elephant for eight dollars and two cents and then they bought this adventure planet adele elephant for eight dollars and six cents so it's a little over sixteen dollars for two plush all right walgreens love to pick it up but a lot of it is bread and butter there are exceptions of course this Dog from 2020 sold for $9.86. My Little Pony. I love finding the vintage ones. Um, this one had cute little wings on it. So definitely when you're shipping stuff like this, it needs to go in a box. This one was from 1988 and it sold for $29.66. This is the last of the Hard Rock t-shirts. And it went to the same buyer. I think there were at least 12 maybe. I paid a dollar each at a churchyard sale and this person bought every single one of them for 16 bucks. So it was funny that he, he just, first he bought four, then he bought two, and then it was one and just kept coming back and buying all of them. I'm not sure if he just didn't look in my store to, to notice that I had as many as I did. All right. My last two are higher dollar. Anytime I can sell plush for over 20 bucks, I'm thrilled. 
This was a Jimmy purple swing, swinging monkey from Walmart, sold for $35.95. As you can see on the left there, I did have a video showing it worked. And this, y'all, this sold probably within an hour of listing it. And I priced it as high as all the others, or higher than all the others listed. Um, this is a Mattel classic football handheld game. There's another one that's older. And so when I picked this up, I didn't realize these sell for as well as they do. I have a video again showing that it worked, showing that the sounds worked also, and it sold before even my sell. I'm telling you, within an hour of listing it for full price, $36.95. There were lots of sold comps for less. All right. Good weekend of sales. This week's been amazing also. Amazing. So I'm just fingers crossed, y'all. Like it stays, it stays this way. It would be really nice. Um, hard work pays, y'all. I'm trying to get at least 30 a day listed. Um, I've got to get back into doing clothes. I've got clothes ready to go also and I just haven't been listing them. And, and it shows a lot of times when I'm not listing consistently with the clothes, then my, my, my sales just kind of seem to dwindle in that category. So that's my goal for this afternoon is to try to get at least five or 10 clothing items listed. All right, it's time to go to church and then it's gonna be time to get to work. Oh, I think we're gonna try to fix this today, y'all. I'm kind of happy going to make me happy to get all of this clutter up on shelves to show you guys and then maybe spread this out a little bit so you know I can enjoy it better because right now it's just really really crowded but I think that's that's this afternoon's project after church all right get to work bye <laughs>